Now, before we start the actual training videos, uh, the first step is going to be initial setup. Uh, whether you are uh, implementing or just starting with this training journey, there are a few things you need to check before you start. And mainly, this is on the Salesforce admin uh, side. So if you're the Salesforce admin or you will be working with the Salesforce admin, you're going to figure out first how you're going to, going to provision the users. So the users of Tableau CRM Plus mainly uh, have to be um, you know, users in Salesforce. So first you create the user in Salesforce. Um, there are multiple ways if, uh, if you're creating them from scratch or most likely they already exist and now you need to assign them this new license and the permission set that goes with it. So the license, which is a PSL permission set license, comes as Tableau CRM Plus. We have other licenses uh, similar, uh, like the analytics apps, maybe specific to that, but pretty main, the main license uh, we, we are going to be dealing with is the Tableau CRM Plus, that's a PSL. You assign it to the user, and then you use a combination of these permissions or all of them to give um, the users the authorization what or what can they do with the product. So for, for example, if I had one permission set that only had managed analytics that's the all-powerful permission and it allows the users um, you know to pretty much be the admin of this uh, Tableau CRM plus product or you might create another permission set that only gives access to maybe uh, create uh, and edit dashboards for example or it could only be use analytics or use analytics and download data analytics and so forth so that's the PSL with the permission set that's uh, or permission sets that's something you're going to have to work out in the beginning especially creating uh, the permission sets uh, and then assigning it, them to users now since we're talking about users and under setup uh, there's also two special users the analytics integration user this is the user that tcrm um, uses to bring the data from the core Salesforce database, from the objects and the fields and the objects and so forth, we bring them into Tableau CRM. Later on, you will see uh, as syncs or data sets. And we need a user, right? So anytime you go to any database and ask for information, the database is gonna ask, who are you? And do you have permission to uh, read and, and get the values? So we use something called analytics integration user. Do not delete that user. This is the user actually also, uh, so by default, it has access to the most of the standard objects and standard fields. If you have custom fields and custom objects, you will get a warning in the sync. Um, if not, just make sure that, uh, uh, you know, that this user has access to these standard uh, custom objects and custom fields, the read access so it can bring the data in. One last thing about this user, this is the user that defines the language of the data values that are brought in. So imagine if you have a dashboard and you have a opportunity stage and typically stage, you might have negotiation or review or closed one. These are English. Now, if you want them to be Spanish or some other language, or they are already appearing Spanish, just know that this, uh, the language of this user, the locale is what's driving the values. Okay, not the titles, not the headers, um, that's either the user uh, or the company or combination, but the values in the data, that's driven by uh, the locale language of this user. Another important user is security user. Now we use security user for two things. And the recipes, when you preview the data and get a view as, as you are building data sets and, and you're doing some combinations or joins or adding the right fields, the preview of the data uh, uses security user, so as long as security user has access to that data, you will see it. And uh, second, more importantly, uh, security user uh, is used to read the fields from the user object for the security predicates. So we have security predicates on the data sets. That's when we talk about role level security. I run a dashboard, I see 1,000 roles. You run it, you see 2,000. That could be one of the ways to implement, implement the security predicate, which reads on the fly who's the user ID or user fields. Any, uh, any field on the user object can be used in the security predicate. So again, that's why security, but this is through security user. And, and the importance here is if you have a custom 
field on the user object. Um, you want to make sure that security user has access to it, so you use it in the filter. Again, we will cover this in advance later on, but the important thing is do not delete these two. These are important. And the last thing about setup is just make sure you can go to the setup page, search for analytics, go to settings, and you're going to see um, features that you uh, enable, or let's call it uh, you know, settings. You can check uh, on or off and enable uh, or not in that particular sandbox of production. Some of them are beta release, for example, uh, output connection back to stage four. Some of them are already there, but maybe you don't want to enable them or for some reason or another. Another one, for example, SQL. So as of Spring 21, we have SQL, switching SQL to SQL, but still it's in a beta version. So maybe you just want to test it in sandbox, not in production and so forth. So that's the pretty much the initial setup for any environment, any implementation. For us specifically, again, I mentioned this in the previous video, um, to create an environment, you can go directly to this link. Make sure it's analytics-trainings-de. Um, or if you want to go to the full Quip doc that you briefly saw again in the previous video, um, this doc has this link and has tips on when you create uh, the org, um, you know, open the verify email um, in, in incognito if you have uh, issues with the password, etc. what to do about that and some more videos to install sales app and some tips uh, about the product itself. With that being said, let's go and actually uh, show you this in action. So again, this is my org and I can see I, I went to setup, I searched for analytics and I see settings. I see all these features that I can check on or off. I even have getting started. This is where uh, I can see my total number of rows used, total number of data sets, and I have some other options to start my journey or onboarding. You can scroll down and you see a lot of these links again, even what's new in, um, uh, I, I, I misspoke probably winter 21 release. And uh, that's one. The other one I wanted to show you is the users. So in users, you can go and see, so again, I am as a user, I'm in this environment, I am a Salesforce user, I have that authentication, the password, the login. If I click on my user, I see that I have been assigned a permission set license. I have two actually, Tableau CRM Plus, and I have a Sales Analytics Apps. That's a different license for the Analytics App, um, kind of think about this uh, watered down. But the Tableau CRM Plus license is there. That's not enough because I also have permission set assignments right here. And I have the default one, which is the admin. Gives me, um, inside of it, there's a lot of permissions. Then there are some custom ones, probably, let's say we were testing them and assigning them to users as needed. If you click on one of these, this is the default one, you will see that what it has is if you go to system permissions all the way down, you see that it has been uh, selected, uh, you know, pre-selected most of the analytics uh, permissions. All what you saw on the screen uh, on that slide. Uh, so I have access to all of these. And this is obviously a powerful permission set. If I were to create another permission set, I will go back here. Let's say click on permission sets. You can search for it. I create a new one. And I can say, you know, maybe this one, I just want to, you know, limited... Uh, uh, TCRM access and uh, maybe with that what I'm gonna do is just give it a use and maybe download data or use dashboard so again to do this I'll go all the way down to system permissions and uh, here I will specifically say you know what the other one admin and there's another default one called user is too much or too little so now I can edit and customize what permissions I want to create in this permission set. So I can find analytics, for example, and say maybe, you know, um, I don't want them to be able to add remote connections, but maybe they can create apps and they can create and edit dashboards and, um, and download data. And that's it. I don't want them to touch data flows, whoever had this, et cetera, et cetera. So now if I save this, this is a new limited TCRM access and I can assign it to the users etc etc so i'm just going to save this and that gives you an idea again when you are onboarding or provisioning the users from the sense of not really creating creating the user ids only but 
uh, if they are already there in the Salesforce org, how are you going to give them the PSL, the license, and create some permission sets for them? And as a reminder, again, your reference is the Tableau CRM help link from the helpsalesforce.com. You can go to set up Tableau CRM platform. You can see all the links here. There's some more information, some different setup. And again, I recommend you just to take a look at it or have that link handy when you're starting your journey. With that, we're going to move on to the next chapter, creating data sets.